hello boys how are you well today i am going to exploit meta supply table 2 so i am using kali linux vm so let's start it we are going to start it headless because we don't need a GUI so uh, Kali VM has been started so let's start the meta supply table too and um, I had some issues uh, uh, configuring its static IP so just uh, oh, we would start it uh, it's GUI so I would check it IP easily in the meantime we would SSH into my Kali machine Kali has not booted so this one has been booted msf admin self admin here you can see i have the eth1 interface which has uh, no ip address so sudo su self admin now we would execute dh client on this interface so it would get some ip ah it has got one ip 192.168.59.104 so here uh, let me uh, do ssh into my kali machine hey, hey, uh, this one is my kali vm uh, so first of all we would do uh, and and map scan so become root and and map as the version we need uh, versions of the software and the target is 192.168. this meta supply type IP. dot one oh four so it would uh, would take some time and then it would show us some mm, the skin result so let's close this one no it doesn't have an option to run in background so here we can see the scan result the first one is the vstpd which is vulnerable this version is vulnerable so let's try to exploit it metasplite has uh, an exploit for this msf console let's open metasplite uh, so uh, msf console taking some time yeah here we go so we are going to use exploit unix and uh, ftp and then vsftp this one so show options set target zero set we would remote uh, would set the remote host which is uh, the med supply table ip 19 192.168.59.104 to options you can see the 
IP remote host IP is set the remote port is already set so we are good to go now let's exploit it oh yeah we we have got a shell here you go you can see I am inside this uh, meta supply table machine let's create some file and here you go I am inside this meta supply table so that's it thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one bye bye